name is Kyle Wheatley. I'm a sales engineer with the RL Detman Company, serving Northern Ohio and Michigan. We are a Bell & Gossip rep, and today we'll be talking about compression tanks. There are two types of tank systems in hydronics. Precharged tanks, which we often use today, and the standard ceiling-hung compression tanks. Today we look at compression tanks. In this slide, you will see the two different types of expansion tanks. Things in common. All are connected to the system. All contain system fluid and a compressible gas. Differences. A standard or compression tank allows gas and fluid to be in contact, while diaphragm and bladder tanks have impermeable rubber membranes. The di diaphragm and bladder tanks can be precharged with air or nitrogen. Here is a diagram showing an air elimination system. It has a bladder or diaphragm tank. There is a physical barrier between the water and the air, and as the water is heated, the balloon expands. Here is a diagram showing an air control system. The compression tank is part of an air control system. It just has air when it in it starts. We fill it partway with water, and the rest is air. There is no physical barrier between the water and the air. As the temperature increases, the air is compressed. It is part of a system we call air control. Here you will see a typical installation detail for a compression tank. Any piping connected between the air separator and the compression tank must be pitched to the, up to the tank. A compression tank starts with atmospheric pressure and is not normally precharged. The air troll fitting helps establish proper initial liquid level in the compression tank when filling the hydronic system. They also help maintain proper system pressurization by directing released air to the compression tank during system operation and permit cooler liquid flow to the boiler during the off cycle as system liquid cools. When working with a system that contains a compression tank, automatic air vents can be used during the initial fill period but should be valved off after the air has been removed. Remember, this is an air control system with a compression tank. When sizing an expansion tank, you will need the following information. Fill temperature, maximum temperature, fill pressure, maximum pressure, volume from your design, and the type of fluid in the system. In a compression tank, the initial pressure is atmospheric. In a bladder or diaphragm tank, expansion tank, the initial pressure is the same as the fill pressure. Hope this helped explain the compression tank systems. Hope you've enjoyed the short look at our air control systems and compression tanks. Next time we will cover the more popular expansion or precharge tanks.